Uh, welcome to another Good E-Reader exclusive video. This is Marcus. As you can tell, we're at uh, Computex 2011. And uh, we managed to find here the Asus DR900. It is a rebranded model though. It's known as the TZ900. And this is just a localized version that they're selling here in Taiwan. But it's uh, definitely a very solid e-reader and for everybody who has not gotten a chance to see the DR900 or has uh, just seen it uh, in uh, articles and blogs, this is our first chance to actually have this in our hands. And so let's just take a look at some of the hardware here. You can see the screen is very large. Uh, it feels like about 9 inches or so. Uh, you can see here on the bottom, this is your micro uh, SD, so you can increase the memory here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Here's, looks like a micro USB. And these look like about stereo speakers to me. So uh, let's look at the top here. Power button. Looks like almost like a giant card reader. Not too sure about that. So you can see here that this is an Asus branded e-reader and it is a rebranded re uh, DR900 but it is the TZ900. Okay, let's take a look at some of the, the interface here. Um, this feels very, very snappy. So it is all touchscreen, and it's very refreshing to see a full uh, touchscreen e-reader. You can see everything here is pretty well uh, in uh, Chinese. But you can see this is a PDF right here. And you can turn the pages by hitting the buttons here. So you can see that it demonstrates PDFs really well. And you can see when I exited the PDF back to the, like, the unit, it was very, very snappy. Let's uh, check out this here. So this looks like a normal uh, EPUB ebook. Let's see if we can turn the pages. Oh, it looks like we can turn the pages by just, uh, just hitting a button here. Although we probably want to just use the top buttons here. But check out uh, the pictures in e ink here. So you can see here that the picture looks very solid uh, in the e ink text. And let's uh, just take a look at a little bit of that here. So obviously, this is tailored towards Chinese characters. But what I really like about that is look at the refresh rate when we're changing. This is phenomenal. So we've shown so far that it does EPUB books and PDF files really well. You also have, you can do news and things like that. Let's take a look at what that is. I have a feeling it's RRS feeds and things like that, yeah. It looks like it's you can capture RSS feeds. Of course, you have a bookstore, which I guess you just shop for books attached to this system. Uh, here's the calendar. Looks like you can do updates and everything like that here. Uh, while we're here, take a look. It shows you the full date, as well as the, the audio, the time, the battery life. We heard the battery life on this is well over about a month in standby mode. Let's take a look at some of the applications here. Looks like you have a dictionary, file manager, calendar, feeds, audio, text, calculator, and so on. Uh, let's take a look at some of just the more exciting features. Uh, here's the dictionary. Okay, well, here we go. You can see that we tried to spell good, but we misspelled it, but you can see that it gives you tons of different types of uh, things here. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna hit the back button here. Let's take a look at the sketch pad. Hit a new sketch. This is kind of nice. So not too bad. Looks like you'd save it, clear it, and all that type of stuff. Let's take a look at uh, the audio player. Let's uh, just uh, hit this and see. Uh, Looks like uh, there is some audio here. Okay, so volume on the side. Let's hit the volume up. So what this means is with uh, the DR900s, of course you can listen to audiobooks, but you could also load in music and everything like that too. Of course, if you wanted to load in all your own custom content, you would do so via the micro USB cable. Uh, the inclusion of an audio player is super good. I mean, if you look at, say, uh, a lot of the new e-readers coming out, uh, especially the new Barnes & Noble one, the Nook 2, it doesn't even have uh, audio functionality on it. Let's take a look at, quickly, the setup menu. You can uh, do things like uh, the reading setup, where you can uh, do your fonts, line spacing, margins, everything like that. A lot of customization on this. It has a full and rich detailed customization. Also things like system setup, handwriting recognition. And finally about. So you can see here some of the firmware, how much uh, space and everything like that's on it. Yep, 3G. Not too bad. Okay, so here's my impressions. It's very light. Um, it's a type of uh, e-reader that is about as light as about the Kindle, but I noticed that uh, the refresh rate and uh, the functionality, I would say, is a little bit better uh, than a lot of the other e-readers sort of out there. And having a large e-reader like this, it just almost feels a little bit more solid than the Kindle DX, mainly because there's more screen real estate. Uh, with uh, e-readers like the Kindle, you have the full keyboard, which takes a lot of the screen real estate, where Whereas this is full touch screen, so you don't need any type of D-pad, you don't need anything. It's fully interactable. I'm a huge fan of the C-Reader. It's very thin. It's very light. It has a ton of uh, customized ability. Of course, you can surf the internet via the web browser. You can do a lot of things with this. So this is the Asus DR900, but it is the rebranded uh, TS900. TZ900, sorry. This is Marcus, at good, uh, Marcus for Good E-Reader, and we're again, we're at CompTEX 2011.